Now we'd like to take a look at some competitive action between some students here of Kinney Karate. The competitor in the black top is Mickey Boynton. Mickey is eight years old and he's a black belt. And for two consecutive years, Mickey was the number one Mike black belt in the state of Florida. Now Mike's are from ages uh, seven and eight years old. Uh, Mickey's a tremendous competitor and he has something to the tune of 70 trophies in his bedroom. What we do in Kinney Karate is focus on a general training in the martial arts. However, about 5% of our students are very active in state, local, and even national competition. I'm really proud to say that uh, actually it was several weeks ago, we went to the Battle of Atlanta, and we took a team of about eight students, and we took two number one national titles at the Battle of Atlanta. Uh, believe it or not, there were almost uh, 3,500 competitors at the Battle of Atlanta, and Jeannie Overing, who's a 14-year-old uh, student, brown belt, took number one in the brown belt, black belt ladies division, and uh, Stephen Sean, who you saw earlier in the musical form uh, tape, was uh, the number one competitor in the junior black belt divisions. Now, these are national titles, so Kenny Karate has two number one national competitors right now on the NASCAR circuit. We put a lot of energy into our competition training for that 5% of the student body, and that 5% of the student body comes back and passes on what they learn to the rest of the students. So it's a very productive time, and what we do in uh, competition training is we focus on developing control. Now what you're seeing here is what we call light contact fighting. Now light contact fighting means that number one, in the children's division, you cannot touch the face, but at the same time, you have to touch the body in order to score a point. The touch to the body means that it cannot distort the body. In other words, if you hit somebody in the head, the force of the blow cannot move the head. If it does move the head, there are certain types of penalties uh, that are applied. In this fight, you're watching Bob Hillis. Bob's on, uh, in the blue pants, and Bob is 45 years old. Bob has been in karate for about five years now, and he teaches our classes at Northwest Community Center. Uh, for two years, Bob Hillis was the number one executive brown belt fighter in the state of Florida. And now Bob uh, is a black belt and competing in the executive black belt divisions. One of the most important things about competition is learning how to take it lightly. You know, a lot of people get really involved and, and really serious about what they do. But it's most important that you enter into, into any type of sport and do it with the intention of having fun. As an instructor, one of my goals is to make sure that students not only have fun in their karate, but learn how not to use it. In karate, we train ourselves to a very, very high degree. And when we train ourselves for karate, it's not necessarily to hurt someone. What we do in karate is we build our confidence to a point where we don't need to use it. Aggressive behavior is a manifestation of low self-esteem. And in karate, we work on building the self-esteem, so you don't have to prove anything to anybody. If you're interested in Kinney Karate, we're uh, located in 6th City of St. Petersburg, Department of Leader Services Community Centers, and in our main studio in Pinellas Park. And if you'd like to call us at 545-KICK, we'll be happy to answer any of your questions about Kinney Karate.